Tragedy stops the war effort in West Coast Blaze. Many men are injured while battling the fire on the pier filled with military supplies. Prompt response and heroic efforts of the military personnel and firefighters reduce the potential for even greater losses. Batteries of streams surround the building, leaving the fire no place to escape. The use of multiple water towers proves effective but a half a million dollars of vital material is lost. Forty firemen injured in spectacular six alarm hotel fire. At 12.10 p.m., a fire is discovered in the basement of the Frederick Hotel. All efforts are directed toward getting the occupants out. The first arriving firefighters fearlessly race into the smoke-filled building to begin the search. The fire quickly gains a foothold in the basement and races to the top of the four-story structure via the elevator shaft and soon has full possession of the building. Outside, sub-zero conditions become yet another obstacle in this fight. Five firefighters have already been treated for frostbite. The number of injuries increases, and the fear that the building walls will soon collapse grows stronger. At the hospital, one-tenth of the fire department now lays injured. Colossal ship explosion shakes the world. 561 dead, thousands injured. At exactly 9.12 a.m. on April 16, 1947, the SS Grand Camp exploded. Ducked in Texas City and loaded with over 2,000 tons of ammonium nitrate, firefighters were trying to extinguish a fire in the ship's hold. In the blink of an eye, an entire city is destroyed. All 27 Texas City volunteer firemen are dead, along with 59 longshoremen and 227 Monsanto personnel. Refineries and oil storage tanks now burn out of control, along with hundreds of stores, houses, and automobiles. What structures fortunate enough to miss the path of the fire were plummeted with shrapnel and shock waves? Eight hours after the explosion, the terror returns when it is learned that the SS High Flyer, also carrying ammonium nitrate, is on fire and ready to explode. Sixteen hours after the Grand Camp, the High Flyer explodes as well. Final property damage exceeds 50 million. Human losses even higher.
Fire destroys refinery. Thousands of barrels of oil feed the flames. A pipe at the loading rack broke, spewing gasoline. Workers flee and miraculously escape death as gas ignites. Rivers of flaming gasoline engulf nearby tanks. Firefighters are unable to extinguish the rapidly spreading fire and the order is given to withdraw. The light of dawn reveals the scope of the destruction, and the fire still burns. Major blaze threatens nation's capital. Thick smoke blankets downtown. Good work by the firemen saves the theater district from destruction as crowds watch their heroic efforts. <laughs> 